All right, I am here to film a huge haul video for you. I went to only two stores yesterday, but one store was really good and I found so much stuff. They were bringing out so many new carts all day. I don't normally go on Saturdays, but I really needed inventory and I'm glad I did because it was so good. And then there's another bag from one other store I went to last week. So I'm gonna show you everything that I found. If you're new here, thank you for coming to this video. My name's Heather and I go by the Canary Closet everywhere you will find all of that information down below in the description. You can use links to find me on Instagram, TikTok. I do have a Facebook group, but I've just kind of stopped posting in it at that point. I don't use Facebook very much anymore. So I would say follow me on the other places. There's also links that I use for everything in my business, as well as an Amazon link. Any of those Amazon links, like if you see an Amazon link for my camera, you can still use that link. And then in the search bar, you can buy whatever you were going to buy on Amazon. And it will give me a little bit of a kickback. So if you want to support my business in that way, rather than buying clothes from me or different things like that, you can do that as well. Also, a free way to support me if you want to is just to give this video a thumbs up now. Subscribe if you haven't. And comment sometime before the end of the video. It does help YouTube show that people want to watch this content. It will push it out more. And that will help me. So I thank you for all of that if you do any of that. If you don't and you just want to watch and not participate or click anything, that's okay too. Okay, if you see anything that you like, you can go ahead and message me on Instagram. I can tell you what kind of price I can give you. I do usually do it a little bit cheaper than what I'm currently listing it for online. Although I do list pretty close to current sold comps, I don't like extremely overpriced anything. Let's get into it. Okay, first is this Levi's Sherpa trucker jacket. This was out on a new rack, it's a size large. I'm not sure if, a men, if it's a men's or women's. It's um, not vintage, but that's okay. It's still a great classic style medium wash. It's in like excellent condition. There's no stains. It's super thick, so it actually would be really good right now for like this time of year. So I was excited to find that. That was a great start. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving. We had one at my sister's and then we had one at my grandma-in-law. Is that a thing? Okay, this was so exciting. This is a Bolo brand, so make sure you know about this. Viore. Sometimes this tag is ripped out and you just have to look for this little tiny patch. But this sells fast every time I get it and for good money. This is a size medium. It's organic cotton. I think this might be a style number down at the bottom. VW450. I'll look it up. But these are a pair of like khaki drawstring just straight leg pants someone does have these rolled up they don't have to be rolled up this brand is doing so good for me right now better than lululemon athleta um yeah so i would definitely say and as i'm unrolling it like i mean it's not ripped or anything but i'm like is it supposed to be rolled i'll try to find a stock photo and i'll see but that was exciting this store doesn't hardly mark up anything except for sometimes some new with tags items and like Michael Kors purses. So that's great for me. Next is the new with tags anthropology dress, which is really exciting. This is a size extra small and it retailed for $138. It is black, uh, floral V neck with like a little fluttery sleeve. It is a mini dress and it is kind of like tiered all the way down. So that's so cute. Hopefully I can use a Google lens to find a picture of that for a stock photo. Next, I didn't even realize this was new with tags until I put it in my cart. I just saw that it was a Prana dress um, and I decided to grab it and it was the, called the Emerald Lake dress. This retails for $85. So that is exciting. It's a size extra large, which is also a great size. This is a green kind of printed, really stretchy, probably knee length, maybe a little bit past midi dress uh, with a high neck sleeveless. So I was really excited to find that. Next we have, I went through every, okay, almost every section. I didn't go through all of the bras and swimsuits or tank tops. Okay, that's all I didn't go through. Okay, I guess not every section. <laughs> but I did all the dresses, all the short sleeves, shorts, skirts, jeans, pants, tops, sweaters, like, and I found so much good stuff. Um, next is a universal standard pair of pants. I really like selling this brand. Plus these are linen, I think. They're a size extra small. Uh, linen blend, yeah. 
but I don't think this is like true extra small because they have their own kind of like vanity sizing. So I'm going to have to look it up because I don't remember. If you remember like what an extra small is in universal standard, let me know down below. It's a wide leg pair of pink pants with pockets, um, elastic waist, very comfortable, super cute. I like selling that brand. Next, we have a pair of stretchy pants and these are by the brand Eileen Fisher. This is an older tag, but I will still pick it up size small um like a stretch pull on brown pair of straight leg pants these would be good for basic office work they're very comfortable they do have a little bit of like dust marks in the back so i'm gonna put that in my wash pile if i can throw it over all of these bags okay and then next i got this solely for christmas so i'm really hoping that these sell really fast they're a pair of vineyard vines size two but this is like a classic Christmas plaid print pants. They are in a size, I already said they're on a size two. They did have a pair in a size double zero, but I didn't get those ones. But I was like, okay, size two, I'll grab these. They're super soft. This will be perfect for somebody for Christmas. So let's just hope that they sell before that. Okay, that's one bag down. I'm really glad too, because this worker that I got bagged everything and he didn't like fill it to the top. So it wasn't so heavy. I'm like, thank you. This is for Ryan. It's a cabbie top for him to sell. Ryan's stuff goes up there and then it gets a pretty big pile. And then I add it up and give it to him. This is for my brother. This is a Bugatti shirt. Um, this is in really good condition. A men's orange and blue, like window pane long sleeve. So I just gave him all of the stuff that I've had building up for him on Thanksgiving. So I'll have to start building a new bag. This is new with Tags Eloquy. I don't know where this is sold. I don't remember. It is a plus size brand. Um, but I got this because I feel like it could be good for holidays or New Year's Eve. It's black with this like gold sequin sparkly. Very cute. It has like a cap sleeve. Very like party-ish. It's a size 16. So that's exciting. Okay, we have a pair of jeans. And this is by the brand Mother, which is one of my favorite jean brands to sell. I just listed a pair for $100 and I got an offer for $85 in like a day. And so I was super excited because even comps for those that style were anywhere from like $60 to maybe $90. And mine sold so fast. So that's exciting. These are a size 25. Mother always has right here inside the other pocket the style. So these are the fly cut stunner ankle fray and a final frontier wash so it makes it extremely easy to find stock photos if you like to do that it does have the exposed button fly and it has a raw hem but no distressing on the knees so yes for mother jeans extremely excited to find those okay next is a brand that i learned from marcus over on the channel dixon's pickens this is the normal brand I've sold it a couple of times in a hoodies and sweatshirts. This is a size extra large. It's a women's like um, cuffed sleeve, yellow floral kind of Hawaiian print button up top. Very cute. Next we have a shirt and this is by the brand Flax, which I like picking up. It does better in the spring and summer, but it'll still like I would pick it up anytime. It's a size medium and they always have cute sayings on here. This one says, I'm youthful and beautiful. I'm a divine beauty or shall I say cringe? Okay. I don't talk like that. Inspiring sayings. <laughs> this is a short sleeve olive green shirt with a blue stripe at the bottom. It does have a slit on the side, kind of an oversized. A lot of times they are oversized, very lag and look. So I will put that in my keywords. Next is something that was half off. This is a Talbot's 2X and it is a cotton modal blend. It's a paisley print with a wrap style top. So Talbot's plus size wrap style, all good factors to make that a good piece to pick up. Next we have another plus size top, I think. Yes, this is Catherine's, which has still been selling so good for me. Size 3X, right around 20 bucks cute light blue shirt with red floral print it is a long sleeve or maybe yeah long sleeve button up top 
It's very pretty. Next we have a, okay, this is a new to me brand, but I found a lot of it. Mission Kenya Santa Barbara. This is in a 1X. The sell-through rate wasn't 100% on eBay, but I did see some pretty good sold comps for like $30 to $40. And they do seem like very boho-y. So these are dragonflies, maybe? Do you guys think these are dragonflies? It's a tunic, green, plus size. It feels very like gauzy material. It is 100% rayon I guess but it feels gauzy cottony so you will be seeing more of that in this haul I'm not gonna edit this but I'm gonna reach over here and get a water so don't mind me gone for like a second I know I'm gonna be talking a lot and I'm like okay it's like right away in the morning I haven't eaten breakfast I haven't had any water yet so I'm gonna keep that over here Oh, next is a toy for Ellie, Santa. It was a dollar, so I know she's going to ruin it right away, so I figured why not. Um, these are a pair of North Face boots. So they are like brown leather with this gray, I don't even know what you would call this, fabric-y, wool-type lace-up boot. Uh, these are men's, and they are a size 14. So I will look up the number in here and see what they're going for, but this is the perfect time to pick up good name brand boots. They are selling good for me right now, boots and coats, jeans and sweaters. This is a sheer Catherine's kimono in a size 3X. The kimono seemed to sell better for me than anything else that, I, that I've noticed, and I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, so if I do, again, excuse me, I'll at least get it off camera. <clears throat> if you're new here I am not like a professional YouTuber and I tend to keep in all this funny stuff because I'm just a real life person like you so you will see funny things like me <laughs> sneezing I guess that's not really funny is it okay I'm gonna shut up this is a size 3x it's sheer uh, three-quarter sleeve with this really cool print it does probably have like a waterfall effect that's just tied up here let me untie it um, but the kimonos from Catherine's do good for me. They usually sell faster and for like maybe five more bucks than the tops. So I did want to get that. And then we have a new with tags J Jill um, size medium. It originally retailed for $69. A cute little sweater. And I wasn't going to get this at first. But I went back to it and I looked at the fabric. And the fabric is why I decided to get it. It is a silk cotton cashmere blend. So sometimes the brand is okay, but the fabric makes it better. And that's the case with that cardigan sweater. Okay. That bag is done. Next. We have a cute little heart print sheer top. I think I'm giving this to Ryan to sell. It is a torrid 2x actually yeah i think it's like supposed to be a top but it's pretty long you'd have to wear something underneath of it um i don't know i mean i could be a mini dress i guess we'll have to look up the style number on that but we'll see okay and this is very pretty this is a saint john top which is an extremely expensive designer brand however it doesn't resell anywhere near retail in my experience i'm trying to get this little button um, it doesn't have a size, but it's just interesting print, short sleeve, top. I don't even know what you would call these prints. I think it's 100% silk. It does have a lining in here. Yeah, 100% silk, size 6. So that's really pretty. I couldn't leave behind St. John's thrift store for how cheap it was. I got a bunch of Harley t-shirts at this store only because they reminded me of very, like, Y2K style, which is like totally in. Um, this is a size medium. This is a Graceland Memphis one. And it's giving me like sinful affliction vibes. So I'm like, yes. I did leave behind some of the plain ones, but I did pick up quite a few. This one especially. Oh my gosh, look at all the like sparkly bling with this eagle. And it says Harley across the front. It is a cold shoulder, which I know is out, but listen some people still wear it so I'm getting that here's another one they're all the same size I think um, I 
Oh, this one's a large. I think they're medium and large. This one's from Des Moines, but this was like a very much of a Y2K little logo with that heart there and the wings. A little bit of like rhinestone studding. Here's another one. This one's from Coralville, Iowa. Blue. Again, very blingy. Harley Davidson. Okay. Oh, here's another one, I think. <laughs> Um, this one is a medium. This one is a tan from Kansas City, Missouri. Kind of a different look on this one. Reminds me a little more of like Western type vibes. Okay, next we have a Lululemon size 4 striped t-shirt. I'm going to see if Grace wants this, of course, because it's her size. And Christmas is coming up. It's a navy and white striped basic tee. The logo is right back here is this very similar color but excited to find that I found quite a few Lululemon in this haul but that's the first one so that's gonna go in a box for Grace for Christmas I don't even know where to throw all this stuff I try to keep stuff off the floor as much as possible because of our cats next a pair of democracy jeans these have still been selling for me around 25 to 35 dollars these are a size 10 the absolution these ones are a pair of pull-on stretch skinny type jeggings actually they don't have a ton of stretch but they do have a little bit especially in the waistband so i will continue getting those 10 and up 14 and up do even better but i will pick up 10. here's another pair these ones are a size 14. ab technology again these are like a green khaki color look to be a mid-rise skinny i find when i do the boot cut ones they sell fast the skinny ones are still selling, but taking a little bit longer. Okay. Next is something I like never get, but it was $1.99. It's a new with tags Talbot scarf. And I was like, I'll try this because also I think it's wool. Yeah, it's 100% virgin wool made in Italy. So I'm like, this was probably expensive. I'm going to try it out. It's like a gray, black, white color block scarf. So that's a section I hardly ever look in but I feel like I should sometimes because maybe I could find some good stuff. Um, this is a pair of Anthropology pants. It just says buy Anthropology on the tag. They are a size six and they do have this belt with this cool like wooden type buckle, I guess. They are a pair of pinstripe wide leg crop pants. They're very cute, very beachy and coastal. Let me check the fabric. They are a linen blend. So that's great. I love those. Um, another pair of pants that are kind of reminding me of linen or coastal. There are soft surroundings. These are a pair of like tan khaki pants in a size large. They are pull on a stretch wide leg with this embroidery kind of lace detail at the bottom of the leg. These ones are 100% cotton though, but very like a gauzy cotton. So yes to those. Another pair of pants, and this is a good like career brand, exclusively Masuk. I think maybe for a more mature dresser. They're a size medium. These are a pair of black pull-on, just classic stretchy pants, probably a straight leg. So that was an easy pickup. This is also for Grace for Christmas. She's obsessed with Squishmallow. So of course I had to pick up this Donald Duck Squishmallow. Yay. Where am I putting her stuff? Right there. Okay, next I did get a swimsuit. A Tommy Bahama bikini. It was in excellent condition. Comps actually look pretty decent for Tommy Bahama swimwear. Um, it's this like blue, almost like tie-dye-ish print. There's the top, and I guess we'll find the bottom when we get to it. Um, this is a polo brand. It is the brand Honey Love. I've had it a few times and it's sold really well. It's really hard to see. The logo is kind of like, looks like a butterfly. Um, this is a shapewear piece in a size medium. It's a tank top. Um, just this tan color with the adjustable straps. So definitely pick up that brand anytime you see it this is a brand that i just sold a sweater of and i said i don't pick up the dresses 
but it is crimson clover but I looked up merino wool dresses because that's what it is and comps were like between 30 and 45 dollars I'm like okay I'm getting it I don't think my last one was a wool um, this is a red polka dot size medium round neck sweater dress extremely cute uh, knee length very soft glad I'm looking for dresses Oh, another Bolo brand. Uh, usually I put in my little thing, you know, but um, I got to get this video out and go to church. And then I'm going to my mom's and then I'm doing family time. So I'm like, ugh. One of these days, <coughs> maybe I'll film ahead of time and not be doing things today, uh, but that's okay. A day, A-D-A-Y. Look for this brand, pick it up whenever you see it. It's a size small. I don't know what this shirt's going to go for, but I've sold pieces for around $100 before from this in like possibly a jacket. This is a white long sleeve. It's got the snaps and then it has stripes all down the back. So I was so excited. And what's really funny is there's a scrub brand, A-D-A-R. And I found that earlier in the store. And first I just saw the A-D and I'm like, oh my gosh, is that this brand? And I'm like, oh, no. And then I went to the long sleeves and then I found this brand. So I was like, holy crap. That is so exciting. This is like, I'm so excited about this haul. Okay, figs, scrub brand. I sold a few pair of figs last week extremely fast. These are, um, this is a scrub top and it's like extra small. It's a dark green basic v-neck top. I don't know the names of the tops as well as I do for the bottoms. And then this is a pair of packed shorts. These are extra large in a size blue, organic cotton, drawstring pair of shorts I have a pair of gold ones that I feel like I got from that same store last week so maybe they put out the other ones after I left um so yeah outdoor hiking trail brand and a pair of shoes oh here's the swimsuit bottom hopefully it's the same size I didn't check that oh there's no size in here so we're just gonna list them together there's that little piece okay and the shoes is a new to me brand and an Instagram follower messaged me and said they just sold these for $40 really fast. Uh, here's what it looks like. Troen Torps, Tro Tron Torps. I don't know. They're made in Sweden. They're a pair of clogs in a size 42. So I'll have to look up their sizing. Uh, black, <coughs> possibly leather, Mary Jane style clog. So super excited for that. Those came out on a new rack. I got to that store right when they opened at nine and nobody was there for like half an hour and it was like so amazing. And then it got packed. Uh, okay. Receipt. Let's keep going. Lululemon leggings. These were on the new rack. I almost passed them, but they are full length. So they will do better for me than crops, but I think they're an older style. So I'm not sure of the style, but here's the logo right back here. They're like this purple space dye leggings. They look to be a mid-rise and they do have some mesh at the bottom. I feel like I know this style, but I don't remember it. So if you do with this like, you know, thing, <clears throat> let me know. I feel like I need to have a coughing attack and I really hope I don't. They're a size six. Size six striped Lululemon leggings. Yes, when I walked into the store, there was like six new racks out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is my dream. Okay, here's another one of that brand, the Mission Canyon. I almost feel like it's like a boutique kind of brand. Uh, this one's new with tags. It says it's called the Melanie Top and is also in a size 1X. These look like, okay, the, uh, it's the same print as the other one. I said dragonflies. Do you guys think, or is it just a random print? Another tunic top. It's very cute. Same kind of feel, very gauzy. Here is Madewell, which I hardly ever get, but I sweater vests are so in right now, so I decided to grab this, and it's a size large. It's a cream V-neck, like, oversized sweater vest. I was like, yes, I think this will sell fast. It is 100% cotton, and it's from summer of 2022, so very current style. So I wanted to grab that. Okay, here's this again with the same print, only a different color. So this person really liked this top, I guess. 1X, this one's purple with teal. I hope they sell good. I think they're, I think they will. And they're a really good size. I feel like it's a little bit more of a summery look. 
So I might have to sit on them for a little bit, but that's okay. This one says it's a one size, but it's that same print. Whatever this is, this one's blue tunic. I'm not going to like explain those anymore or show the tag because you've seen it enough. Oh, we're getting off of a different print finally. This one's one size. Pink. I don't even know how to explain this print. I'm just going to say printed, button front, flowy tunic or something like that. <coughs> okay. I see another one down there, but here's something else first. Oh, my favorite, Eileen Fisher. I sell this so much all the time. I've been selling it so good for good money. This is size extra large. It is a space dye open cardigan sweater in like a grayish tannish black color and it is a hundred percent organic linen so the larger sizes do good but i've still been selling the smaller sizes good actually for a while i wasn't but now i am here's some more mission santa barbara mission canyon santa barbara uh this one's a floral print it is a one size tunic blue very pretty. Here's another one. <laughs> this one's really pretty. I like these colors. I think this is the first one I found. It's like very watercolor-y. I don't know. So that's cute. Let's see what we have next. Oh, I got two of these. These are Patagonia Capeline 3 Midweight Size Large. Um, I don't know if they're men's or women's, but I actually have sold a couple of Patagonia Capeline's pretty quickly in under a month. It does say it down here, but it's not the typical logo. But I think base layers right now for people who still do like outdoor stuff are gonna be good. So I grab both of them. And then let's see, oh, that's just a bodysuit. I'm gonna try a free people one. Okay, here's the other Patagonia base layer. So I'm not gonna show you that. This is a green Title IX sweatshirt. I like selling this brand, it's a size medium. Just a pullover basic sweatshirt with like the front kangaroo pockets. So I definitely wanted to grab that and that is it for that bag. Hope you guys are enjoying this long video. I like long videos sometimes. It's like good just to like keep on in the background while I'm listing or photographing. Okay. This is for myself. Oh, it's an Old Navy, just basic sweatshirt. I'm going to try that on. <coughs> I feel like the more I talk, the drier my throat's getting. I still need to go, like, straighten my hair before church, a pen to make up, and eat. Okay, Polo Ralph Lauren, extra large. I've sold both of my cable knit polo sweaters fast, and so I just went ahead and grabbed another one. This one has a like gold pony logo. This will be really great for Christmas and the holidays. So I will use that in my keywords. We have this really cute Maeve um, cactus print top in a size small. When I was looking up comps, someone had this listed for $75. So good luck selling that. Comps are around 20 to 30. <laughs> so that person doesn't know what they're doing. Sorry, I hope it's not you. It's very cute. I love that. That'll be better for summer, but I grabbed it anyway. Okay, this is for Ryan Nacelle at Torrid. Super soft knits in a size four. It's this orange lacy, kind of like a baby doll style top. It's very cute. I love that. Oh, okay, we have a pair of new with tags Levi's plus size short. These are the 501s in a size 18. Medium wash, they were half off, so I did decide to grab them. I did not go to any Black Friday sales at thrift stores. I just went with my daughter to some regular stores. Okay, more Eileen Fisher. This is a cute speckled sweater in a size medium. It is just a round neck, maybe a little bit of a boxy, oversized sweater. I think it's just cotton. Let me check. This is organic cotton blend with a little bit of polyester, which she doesn't hardly ever use, but... I like that. It's a cute, like, basic. Should I keep it? I don't know. I did keep this one striped merino wool sweater, and then I found out I had a hole in it, which is fine, because it's, like, at a spot you can't really tell. Um, so, yeah. Okay, next is the soft surrounding size large. This is just a cute, it has, like, metallic woven in, uh, multicolor 
sweater, kind of like a chevron print almost. So I wanted to grab that. Um, here is a Ming Wang cardigan. This is in a size petite small. Yellow was the 99 cent color tag, so I got it for 99 cents. I think I didn't pick it up before, like I saw it. It's black with blue trim because it does better for me in bigger sizes, but I am willing to get it for 99 cents. Okay, let's keep going. A wool coat by Talbots in a size 20. This is like a cream ivory wool jacket. My wool coats and my wool jackets and blazers have been something really good for me. So I definitely wanted to get that. And then this I think is going for really good money. It's a Helly Hansen jacket, but it's new with tags. Um, I think I saw sold comps for over $100. This is, it says it's a, from the sailing line crew mid-layer jacket, regular fit. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, yes. I was so excited to find this. I don't hardly ever find Helly Hansen, first of all. But newest tags, I paid $15 for it. I'm like, thank you. And then I got a pair of Sam Edelman ballet flats, only because, like, ballet flats are in... And so I think these are going to do good. They're a size 10. They're leather. I think I saw Jack from Flip Thrift sell a pair of these recently for like 40 bucks. But I will do my own comp check and we'll see. Okay, guys, we're still going. <laughs> I've got two more bags. Another pair of Democracy jeans. Size 14. These ones are Ab Technology. And these ones are definitely high rise. And they're a skinny medium wash. I'm running out of spots to put my clothes. I'm going to start going this way. Next we have a pair of black good American jeans. I'm trying these for myself because they seem really long. They're a size 29 and they are a high rise like flare. So I'm going to try them. Comps and the sell through was really trash on almost every good American jean that I looked up. But if they don't fit me I'll just list them anyway and I'll hopefully can use enough good keywords or pricing so they don't sit forever. But I'm hoping they'll fit me because I only have one pair of new jeans that I've gotten since I had to get a new size. And they're straight leg jeans, but I want a couple different styles. Okay, Athleta in a size 14. These are a light pink pair of pants. They are a cargo pant. I don't even know if I've seen this style. It might be pretty new. Um, looks like a straight leg all the way down. I wonder if it says it in here on the tag. Oh, these are the Vienna cargo pants. Yeah, so... I'm going to look up comps. Great size. Great style. They are new. Oh, here's another more. Oh, wait. This is a Mission Kenya Barber, but a pair of pants. One size. So they are blue and purple. Very flowy. Boho. Huge wide leg pair of pants. So, yes. Oh, I forgot to bring down. I got these super cute little baby um, Nike Air Maxes off a of new rack. Oh. I showed them to Grace yesterday. Okay, new with tags democracy. These are a size eight, ab technology, but I got them because they were new with tags. I'm taking off the Marshalls tag. Um, I paid $8 for these. High rise, like khaki, skinny pair of pants. These would be perfect for work or the office. This was a huge new shoe cart that came out. That's where I got the baby Nike Air Maxes. Um, but I also picked up these Birkenstocks, which are a pair of like black, I mean, white, with the black toggle laces. They are a size 41, so it's a women's 10 or a men's 8. I'll probably sell them as a women's, clean them up a little bit. I don't know what these go for, but they were only $5.99, so I'm like, yes, I'm getting them. Um, yeah, that was really exciting. This store was so good yesterday. I haven't had like a thrift haul this good in so long, of like or like one store. Here's a pair of Sorel men's shoes. These also came out in the new rack. These are basically new. If you look on the bottom, which is exciting, they're a size 12. This is Ryan's size, but I don't see him wearing shoes like this. Oh, they are pretty casual. It says they're waterproof, um, but he's very into like his Hey Dudes. He wears his Hey Dudes or his Cowboy Boots, and that's what he's wearing right now. But these are so cool. I love these. They're in excellent condition. Okay, one more bag. Oh, wait, here's something else. Oh, this is just a black skirt I'm going to try on. Okay. There's a big puffer coat here in the top. Oh, it's a vest. This was on a new rack too. It's an athleticized medium. 
I think it's a down filled. Let me check. Um, yes, down filled black puffer vest. So that should do good, even though it's an older tag, just because of the down. We have a red soft surroundings top in a size medium. It does have this big gold zipper back detail. I've sold this before. It's stretchy. It's really, really soft. Um, this is another Lululemon. So is this newer if it says like the actual size on it, medium, instead of like 12? It's really soft. I don't know. It's a size, I'm stupid. It's a size medium. Um, the logo is down here. So I'm gonna see if it has like some numbers around the dot. It does. So I'll look it up. Yeah, I think it's real. Um, I think that I, I had another jacket once that I found, but just some of the newer stuff actually has sizing like that. So that's exciting. More Lululemon with the rip tag and I didn't price it up. This is a really pretty dress. I had a feeling it was something good when I saw the print. Um, it's new with tags Talbots in a size 20. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Kind of is like a bandana print, long belted maxi dress. Oh, I love it. Kind of has like a full skirt. They're only charging $10 for that. So I'm like, yes, please. And then I found new with tags Lily Pulitzer. Oh my gosh. This store was like my best friend yesterday. Size medium. This is the um, Gwyneth sweater. Very pretty. Blue, teal, white striped, and it is 100% cotton. So yes, for new with tags Lily. We have another soft surroundings. I think this is a tensile or lyocell top. Medium, kind of this mustard yellow v-neck longer tunic top i've definitely sold that style before it looks very familiar i've never heard of this brand but comps looked pretty decent it is elizabeth wilson and it was new with tags and it's very cute it is like an orange gingham with this navy blue lace tassel type look uh top with a zipper back so i'm gonna try that out Next, we have a yellow polo by Ralph Lauren uh, classic sweatshirt. It is a men's, so I'm going to give this to my brother. It's a yellow pullover basic sweatshirt. I'll check it over for stains, but it looks like it's in really nice condition. So that was exciting. Um, this is an Athleta jacket. I did look up comps on this specific style, and some people are selling it pretty good. It's a size large. This one is a teal uh, zip front jacket. I don't remember the style name now, so I'll have to just look it up when I'm listing it. We have a top by Title IX. This is a blue printed long sleeve top. Could be good for like a base layer or something. That's a good outdoor brand. I just got a sweater from them earlier. More stuff from the new rack and more Lululemon with the rip tag and it's a size 12 so amazing size black printed long sleeve top would be good with some solid colored leggings there's the logo there on the top back they charge four dollars for this yes and then more Lululemon on the new rack I saw this and I'm like oh these look like dance studio pants which there's a lot of dupes, but these ones actually were. I think they're a crop style. Here's the logo right here on the left leg. Um, let me see if I can find a size really fast. They're a size four. So these are Grace's size, but she doesn't really wear crop stuff. So I'm not giving these to her. But those should sell good, especially black. And then we have two more items. One is my favorite athlete I think I've been selling lately, which is the ankle Brooklyn ankle pant. And they're in a size 12. These will sell fast. They are in olive green color. I love these. These ones have a jogger on the bottom. And then the last one is same bolo brand from earlier. This is, I found this right away when I went in and it was Viore again. I'm like, oh my gosh. I just wanted to like stay in that store forever and just keep seeing what they brought out. But I had to get home. Uh, size large. 
black jogger high rise sweatpants. So that's my haul guys. So good. I'm so excited to get all this stuff listed again. You can check my closets in the next few days, or you can message me on Instagram. If you see anything that you like, I hope you have a great day. I hope your week is full of good sales. I did really bad with not doing my consistent listing this week, but I spent so much time with family. So I'm like, that's okay. All right. I'll see you again on Tuesday for another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.